summer cold front is sweeping through Colorado at this hour. Yeah, we've seen some storms in parts of our state, a lot of wind, and tonight perhaps some snow in the mountains. They're ready to fire up those snow guns in Keystone. That's where we hear meteorologist Lauren Whitney is going to brief us on that summer snow coming up. But let's start with Matt Croshall at Keystone Resort tonight. Matt. Karen, dare I say there's a chill in the air here in the high country, and a lot of people have their fingers crossed for some of that first natural snow to fall up at the top of the hills here. But it's really the man made snow, the snow making operations that have been uh, really front and center here at Keystone over the last several months. Those operations are now getting very close to becoming a reality. Welders piece together new snowmaking water supply line. Right now, we're actually looking down across uh, quite a few of our TF10 and TR8 fan guns that we are installing for the upcoming season. A major investment over the summer they hope pays off with an early opening and a longer season for skiers and boarders. It's always exciting. It's always interesting. Uh, we have a lot of really talented staff here at Keystone. Chris Ingram oversees mountain operations here. It's getting uh, towards the finish line here. We're feeling really good about it. The upgraded snow making on 44 acres and with the final touches being made on the new system, they're eager for that mercury to drop a little more so they can put these new guns to the test. It's great to just be in the conversation and hopefully we can be among the first open in the United States. Listen, Keystone is in the race now. It used to be just Loveland and Arapaho Basin in recent years, the race to open first, but now Keystone with all this new snowmaking operations going on, they say, hey, we're in there too, so we'll have to wait and see who will open up first. We're live at Keystone, Matt Kroschel covering Colorado first.